If you are looking for a new PC build, right now is an amazing time to buy one. And I'm going to show you the best gaming PC builds for all resolutions with the spring sale. Some components are having a huge deal and these are some of the best prices I've ever seen on gaming PC builds. I will show you a 1080p ultra PC build, a 1440p ultra one and 4k ultra as well in case you want the best performance for every resolution. The links to these PCs will be down below in the video description and I will also show you the level of performance that you can get with each system in case you are a beginner and you do not understand anything about computers. With that being said, let's start. First, we are going to start with the $900 1080p Ultra or 1440p High Gaming PC. This one has the i5-12600KF which is going on an insane deal for 850 bucks. This is a great 10 core processor that's going to be perfect for gaming and also you can do content creation and productivity work with this CPU and it's going to be amazing. Then for the CPU cooler we have the Thermal Ride Peerless Assassin. This is a great cooler for just 30 bucks and also if you decide to upgrade the CPU down the line this cooler is going to be enough for most CPUs unless you want to upgrade to something like the i9 14900K where in that case you will need a liquid cooler that's going to cost you much more. But this CPU cooler in my opinion is one of the best price to performance coolers out there especially for a CPU like the i5 12600KF. Then for the motherboard we have the Astro C690 ATX motherboard this one has plenty of features for gaming and it also has great audio quality which is a nice to have and on top of that you get BIOS flashback which is not going to be needed for this system but it's always a nice feature to have also since you get this motherboard you are able to overclock the CPU if you want to even though I don't think it's necessary because you are already getting great performance but that is going to be up to you then for the memory kit you get 32 gigs of RAM which is going to be perfect for gaming multitasking and also things like content creation and productivity work and it's only $53 so RAM is getting very very cheap. Then for the storage you get a 1TB Gen 4 SSD that you can always upgrade to 2TB down the line. Right now a storage is very expensive and it's getting even more expensive so if you want to buy 2TB right now it's going to be just fine but in my opinion I would upgrade down the line if you ever need more storage. And it's very easy to upgrade because the motherboard has more than one M.2 slot which means that if you want to upgrade the storage you buy another drive like this one and then you put it on a different slot and there you have it. It's as simple as that. Then for the graphics card and this is the most important component when it comes to gaming performance we have the RX 6750 XT. This is a 12 gigs of VRAM graphics card that at the moment when I'm recording this video is going for $330. This is an amazing price for a GPU as powerful as this one. When it comes to gaming performance from the latest test from TechSpot on a 12 game average on ultra settings by the way at 1080p resolution the 6700 XT was able to average 93 FPS as you can see and the 4060 Ti 98. Now the 6750 XT is not on this list but it performs very similar to a 4060 Ti so you can expect around 98 plus FPS on average at 1080p ultra settings or even higher if you are not going to play on ultra and you lower the graphic settings to high or if you are not going to play the most high demanding titles out there. If you want to play esports games such as CS2 or Valorant, you can expect well over 300 FPS on average at 1080p competitive settings. And then if you upgrade to 1440p down the line or you already have a 1440p monitor and you are looking for a PC under $1000, well the 6750 XT is going to be able to average around 70 FPS at 1440p resolution. And remember I'm talking about high demanding titles on high to ultra settings. At 1440p if you play those high demanding games and you turn on FSR which is the upscaler from AMD you can expect well over 80 FPS on average depending on the game and depending on the settings. Overall you are getting a 1080p max out settings PC that can also run 1440p high to ultra settings with no issues. Then for the case we have the MSI MAG 112R. This one comes with four pre-install fans and in my opinion it looks amazing and the price is very decent for just $60. Trust me it is very important that the case that you buy especially at this price point comes with pre-install fans because otherwise it can get quite expensive if you buy more fans and then it's one extra step for you to install these fans. Also this one has a front mesh panel and amazing airflow for this type of build. And last but not least we have the power supply and I went with the MSI MAG 850 watt 80 plus gold power supply which is 8 tier rated and right now it's going for just $90. You can get away with a cheaper power supply if you want and the link to that alternative will be in the description but having this power supply especially at this price point will allow you to upgrade down the line 
designed to higher end CPUs and GPUs and you will not have to upgrade the power supply in that case because 850 watts is going to be more than enough for most builds. So let's say down the line you want to upgrade the GPU to something like the RTX 4070 Ti Super or even the RTX 4080 Super, you will be able to do this without having to upgrade the power supply. The total price for this system when I'm recording this video is around 900 bucks and maybe when you're watching this is more expensive or cheaper depending on the deals that you get. Remember that if you want to see the latest prices, the links to these components will be down below in the video description. Now we are moving to a $1,200 1440p ultra gaming PC build. With this PC, you will be able to average 240 plus FPS on esports titles at 1440p. So if you want to buy a 240 hertz monitor, you will be taking advantage of it pretty well. And then if you want to play high demanding titles, you can expect really high frame rates as well. And I will show you the level of performance in just a second. Before doing that, I want to say that for the CPU, you get the Ryzen 5 7600. This CPU is one of the best price to performance CPUs out there, especially right now, going for $190 at Walmart. And it's going to give you plenty of upgradeability down the line because you get on the AM5 platform, which means that if you want to upgrade to the best CPU in the market when it comes to gaming, the Ryzen 7 7800X3D down the line, you can do it without having to change the motherboard. I used the Ryzen 5 7600 on my most recent build for esports titles. So if your favorite games are games like Fortnite, Valorant, and these type of shooters, I highly recommend you watching that video because you will be able to average really high FPS for a very decent price. That video is going to be in the top right of the screen. And then for the GPU, you get the RTX 4070 Super. The 4070 Super at 1440p Ultra on high demanding titles from the same test I mentioned before from TechSpot, it was able to average 108 FPS, which is a very high number at this resolution and settings. Also, you get DLSS, which is the upscaler from Nvidia, and it works just better than FSR from AMD. Although at this price point, you can also consider going with the RX 7800 XT, going for around $100 less and getting a cheaper system that's going to perform amazing at 1440p. If you want to see the difference between the 7800 XT and 4070 Super, and also decide on which one should you buy, I recently made a video on AMD against Nvidia comparing every GPU for 1440p resolution. So you will have that video as well in the top right with the other video I mentioned before about the esports PC. Anyway, back to this build, you also get a one terabyte in 4 SSD. This time you get 32 gigs of DDR5 memory instead of DDR4, since we are on the AM5 platform, a B650 motherboard that's going to be enough for gaming and it's going to allow you to upgrade to a higher end CPU down the line if you want to. Then you get the Montec Air 100 ARGB case. I built an entire PC inside of this case and in my opinion, it looks amazing. I love it. Comes with four pre-installed fans, a front mesh panel. In my opinion, it was a very quiet experience. So thumbs up to this case, especially for just $60. Then for the power supply, we have the same MSI power supply as before because 850 watts, as I said before, is going to be enough for most builds unless you want to get a GPU like the RTX 4090 and a beefy CPU. Anyway, this PC is much more power efficient than the one I've mentioned before. So you are going to be spending less money on your electricity bill as well. And the price is about $1,200 when recording this video. And if you decide to go with the RX 7800 XT instead, you will be spending around $1,100 for a system that's going to perform amazing at 1440p as well. And it's also 4K capable, of course, depending on the game and settings. Talking about 4K with the next system, we have a 1440p ultra max out settings or 4K high gaming system. So if you want to upgrade to 4K down the line or you already have a 4K system and you want to spend less than $1,500, this PC is going to be amazing for you. And I will show you the level of performance in a second. But before doing that, I want to say that if you are enjoying this video, please subscribe to the channel. It will take just two seconds. And trust me, it makes all the difference and you are going to be helping this channel grow. So if you do that, thank you so much for the support. Anyway, back to the video. Here you get the same Ryzen 5 7600 and most of the components are the same as before. The only difference are the GPU and the case. For the GPU, I went with the RTX 4070 Ti Super with 16 gigs of VRAM. That's going to be, in my opinion, the best GPU if you want the best performance at 1440p and also a very solid GPU if you want to play at 4K down the line. On the same test I mentioned before from TechSpot 1440p Ultra settings, the 4070 Ti Super was able to average over 120 FPS, which is a very high number because we are not talking about high FPS games and you are getting high FPS regardless. If you want to play esports games like the ones I've mentioned before, Fortnite, Valorant and these type of shooters, you can expect well over 360 plus FPS on average depending on the settings. And then at 4K, the 4070 Ti Super was able to 
average 70 FPS, which is once again a very high number considering we are talking about 4K native resolution. At 4K, I always recommend you turning on the LSS, the upscaler from NVIDIA, if we are talking about high demanding titles. And in that case, trust me, you can expect 80 plus FPS on average, so very capable of 4K resolution. And since you get 16 gigs of VRAM, you get a GPU that's going to age really good for 1440p and 4K. And then I went with a different case. This is a more premium one in the Deepcool CH360. I love how it looks. It comes with three pre-installed fans and the price is $85 when I'm recording this video. Now, the total price for this system is $1450, but you can actually get this system for $1400 if you decide to go with the last Monte case instead of this one. And also you can consider the RX 7900 XT for the GPU for around $100 less in case you want a very similar gaming performance for around $1350. Now, I want to mention that the 17900 XT does not have all the features that the NVIDIA 4070 Ti Super has, for example, a better level of ray tracing, the LSS, which is the better upscaler, and the 4070 Ti Super is better overall. So in my opinion, the 4070 Ti Super is the best option, but if you have a lower budget and you want about the same rasterized gaming performance, the 17900 XT is a very solid option. And if you have around a hundred dollars more to spend, you can get the RX 17900 XTX. You get the same exact components for everything else except for the case which I went with the same exact case but this one is the ATX version because it's bigger and it's going to fit the new GPU the RX 7900 XTX. The 7900 XTX is a 4K Ultra gaming GPU so if you want to play at 1440p I think the 4070 Ti Super is going to be plenty of performance and you are going to be saving money while getting all of the Nvidia features but if you want to play at 4K Ultra settings native resolution the 7900 XTX is about $100 more expensive and on that same 12 frame average on ultra settings at 4k resolution the 7900 xtx was able to average 93 fps which makes it the second fastest gpu in the market right after the rtx 4090 which is a much more expensive graphics card and then it's about 23 fps faster on average than the 4070 ti super this is non-ray tracing performance so native rasterization performance now at 4k fsr works really well and the difference between the lss and fsr is less noticeable because you are going to be playing at a higher resolution so you can expect very high FPS if you turn on FSR at 4K resolution with this system and the price for this PC is around $1575 and it's a very solid option if you want the best 4K resolution gaming PC build in terms of price to performance out there because in my opinion this one is and as I said before the prices right now are insanely good for that reason if you are looking for a PC build I recommend you buying right now and if you need personal PC help because you want me to take a look at your specific situation and give you a proper recommendation then in the top link in the description you can join my community and ask me there and I will be answering all of your questions regarding your situation if you are looking for a new PC build or pre-build PC whatever you want thank you guys for watching thank you for the support and I will see you on the next one